today we're putting the adapters in the lift to lift the Impala and we lift it for the first time. And then I'm gonna put it in the gas tank for the Impala. So I'll show you how I did that. Stay tuned. I made a real mess of my miter saw station, but I'll clean it up. So here's what we're gonna have. Each one of these will be a cross member. Everything will get welded up. Bing, 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 bing. These will get turned down to 1.95 inches so that they can fit here. They won't quite fit in there. This is just a little too big. So basically all I have to do is take this stuff to a welder and be like, hey, weld it up and give them a diagram. Okay, I just picked up the adapters for the cradle for the X-frame of the Impala from the machine shop and the welders. I'm Hans. And I'm Franz. And we want to pop you up. Okay, that fits there, thank God. Luckily, the tubing that was spun on the lathe does fit inside the circular holders on the arms. So I just got to play around with the angles. But I'll tinker with that and I'll come back.
trying to make it catch in the right spots on the frame. It's a little trickier than I thought, but let's see what we can do. <laughs> and today I'm just so excited. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, a uh, little scary. Man, look what a mess it is over there. I gotta clean that up. Holy crap. Look at this. So, you see what I was struggling with was getting the adapter to hit. So I, I'm on the frame, I'm just, it's not centered. So I need to work on that and come up with a better configuration. But I am on the frame, which is good. I am having a little bit of challenge with Potentially hitting the body here, but I am on the frame up here. This is amazing. I've never had this much view of the car, even on the other lift. You can see I've got some rot here. But you know, this finally gives me the chance to get under here and, and address this stuff. I got the same over there. I think that's common for these cars. That's the footwell. That's the passenger footwell, so you get wet stuff there. See, I need to address my transmission cross member. Wow. Otherwise, I mean, this is working better than I thought. I still have some access to the drive shaft. So the drive shaft comes through the center of the X-frame right here. There's a carrier bearing that goes in there. The carrier bearing would be here and then it would pivot downwards. I don't know, we'll have to see if I have interference here once the drive shaft's in place. One other thing I discovered on the other lift was I have to be careful because these, these springs are lower springs, so they, they can come out. <laughs> And when you lower the car, then uh, if the spring falls, it just has no spring on one side and it sags. So you just got to be careful when you're lowering it. But I'm going to clean up this crap, all the sawdust. And I'm going to finally be able to see what's going on. This is amazing. It's disorienting for me to have a car this high up in the air in my garage. I don't think I would yank on things too hard, but... So one of the first things I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna put the gas tank in. I'm gonna run the fuel lines up to the engine compartment. I need to pull the engine one more time to get all the serpentine belts and stuff aligned on the front. So this one fit um, very well in there and I'll show you why. It's because of these fittings. I thought I would be clever and have an angled one and a straight one so that the one that comes off here would also have there would be an angle on there to kind of follow it. And here under the car it uh, hits here. So when I try to cinch it up there with the straps, I don't have enough strap. So I'm actually making new straps. These are the old straps. So I'll make them a little longer. I cut this phenolic block as a spacer. So this will sit on the car, it's going to sit on the seam. I'm going to cut a, I'm going to rip a thing in here with the table saw and it'll space it off the bottom of the floor. 
hang down a little lower, about an inch, but I think I'll have plenty of clearance under there. The exhaust will probably be lower than that. So, let's see how it goes. Okay, it's in. These straps appear to work. I might have to even them out a little bit. One's a little different than the other. They're not perfect, but uh, I mean, it's in there. And then you can see the, see the spacer right there. And there's plenty of room over here. Like I can totally access that. And my access door is right above it, so at least above the fuel pump anyway. And the sending unit. So that's probably it for today. Okay, so we lifted the Impala for the first time with the single post lift with the new adapters. Super, super happy about that. And we also put in the gas tank. For now, it's situated, it's in place. It still needs to be plumbed. Uh, I've already got the lines made for that, and then I need to wire it up. And so probably the next build will be something on wiring harness. I have a painless wire harness that I want to put in. And uh, the Dakota digital gauges, which I showed you guys once uh, with the unboxing. All those will probably come together somehow. Um, so we'll be working on that and... Somewhere in there, i got to figure out the cross member for the transmission, but we'll get to that when we get to that. So thanks for watching. This is David Hill with Solve Fix Build. Thanks again. Hit like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Thank you for being you. Hey, you're awesome. You really hung in there, didn't you? If you want to see the next project, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notifications button. Hey, if you want to see any other types of projects, say so in the comments. I'd love to hear your feedback. And if you want to support the channel, it's super easy and it's free. Just hit that like button. The YouTube algorithm likes that. Thanks for watching, stay rad, and go start your next project.